Hi, so today we're going to take you through some of the controls that we use on most of our systems. I'm just going to take you through how to program and set up the, the timer. So what we have here, we have two sides, one for the heating and one for the hot water. Now if we drop the flat down, this will give us other functions and allow us to program the times that we want it to come on and off. So at the moment, if we press the program button, this will allow us to set central heating on time. It says at the top, and at the bottom there, we're setting it Monday to Friday. So at the moment, it's set to come on at 7 a.m. So if we want to adjust that, we just use the plus or minus buttons now to set the time we want. Now once we're happy with that, we just have to press next on off, just down here, and it's set to go off at half eight in the morning. It has got a lunchtime setting, three and four, but they're both set to 12 o'clock. So they're basically bypassed. Now let's press next on off again, and then we set it to come on in the evening at 4.40. And again, we can just use the plus or minus buttons to alter the times. Now next off on, on off again, and the central heating set to go off at half 10 in the evening. Now if we press program again, this allows us to set our hot water times. So at the moment, it's set for it to come on at half six. So again, we can just use the plus or minus buttons to change the time. Now press the next on off, and now we're setting the hot water off time, which is set for half eight. Again, it has a lunchtime setting that is bypassed. And in the evening time, it's set to come on at five and go off at half 10. Again, we can just adjust any time we want. Now if we were to press the day button, um, this will allow us to set times for Saturday and Sunday, so you can have completely independent times for the weekend. So it's the same process, use the plus and minus to adjust the times and then next on off to go through the different modes. Now if we press the program button one more time, that takes us back to our, our run display. Now here we have two select buttons, one for the hot water, one for the heating. Now, in the display, they're both set to off. If I was to press the select button on the hot water side, it comes down to auto. Now, auto is the times that we just set. So it'll come on in the morning, go off in the morning, come on in the evening and go off in the evening. Uh, the next setting is all day. That comes on the first setting in the morning and then stays on to the last off setting and it bypasses all the others. On, 24 hours a day constant and off is obviously off. Now exactly the same for the hot uh, the heating side. Um, we have auto, all day, on and off. And if we look at the buttons at the top, we have a plus out one hour button, which obviously just brings it on for an hour and then shuts it off. And lastly we have the manual override buttons. Now what these do is if the heat and hot water isn't on, by pressing the manual button it will bring them on early and then they will still go off and they're time to go off and then if the heat and hot was on and we press the manual override button, it will turn it off early, but then it will still come on when it's time to come on.